Okay, guys, I'm coming through the garbage here, as you know. You know, constantly when I start my day, from the morning, what happens with the constant stocking for the so-called intelligence agencies. Ain't nothing intelligent about them. Nada, ni pinga, no saben ni pinga, ni hablar inglés tampoco, cojones. Mira la puta esa, que no vale un peo. Excuse me, guys, for the bad language. One second. This is my neighbor. You saw over there the one with the kids. She pinches her kids sometimes, so they scream in front of my door if they don't feel like screaming and running. All those noises that you see, it's her. See now, as soon as I got out of my door to go throw the garbage, look, I'm still here. As soon as I got out of my door to go throw the garbage, she got off the elevator and she went home. That was just coincidence, you know? Give me a break, please. So I'm getting stalked first by the people in the building. They're not residents. They're employed to stalk me. But, and to listen to me, and to annoy me, and to mistreat me, and to keep me in this fucking brainwash realm. Excuse my fucking language. One second, guys. You know? So this is what they do. That's their job, and that's where we stand, you know? So what do you do in a situation like this one? What can you do? You have to ignore and move forward in your life. That's what I'm going to be doing next. But it ain't easy, guys. It ain't easy. And it takes time. And you have to be strong. And you have to sort of get to a point where you let them realize that their tactics are not working. Not that they're going to stop. They never will. It's the government backing this up. They have enough money to keep doing it forever. And they can increase the number of people around you to as many as they can. Guys, they've chartered private, air, not private, but they chartered flights for me. Like when I book a ticket, let's say with Air Canada to go from Toronto to LA, you know, last year I did that from uh, in September, was it? August, October. Guys, you see my videos up there on Hollywood Boulevard in Cuba. They chartered those planes, you know how? Like let's say, cause they don't want me to go on a normal plane with normal people. That way they can't put on a lot of their irritators, perpetrators, provocateurs, and other people would notice. So what do they do? I went into such small jets. I've never been in small jets like that in my life. So it was the first time they do this to me, just to keep me stressed the whole time, even in flight. Guys, everyone on that plane was a perpetrator. They were talking loud, clapping, moving. The people inside the plane moved so much and made so much noise. I think the plane on the outside was moving. It was brutal. Because the plane itself was probably taught to gang stalk me and you know what the pilot was making some crazy moves because you know how you feel your heart's dropping a bit and he mentioned something on the PA he goes there's turbulence so I had the shade closed the window shade I opened it and looked outside guys nothing now that's possible too sometimes there are strong winds does there don't have to be clouds or it could be sunny and you know it doesn't look like it's windy and there could be strong winds fine then again, after a half an hour, same thing. They he did it like six, seven times throughout the flight. So that's the pilot on purpose doing that in order to irritate me. Guys, do you know how dangerous that is? Why are you playing with people's lives? Just because some so-called intelligence agency, they don't like a certain person because he's too talented. They're scared of him. I mean, and even though back then with no intention to, to be in a political party or to have thoughts or views against the government, I was never like that. And I'm still not like that. I don't care. I, I ain't against any political views. I don't even like politics. So it's something to do with the person. It's not really what you do. It's not your actions that they're after. It's your genealogy. You know, there are certain things in you that they just don't like. They're afraid of. Maybe uh, your boldness, you're honest, you speak the truth, your, uh, I don't know, um, uh, your talents to convince people uh, unintentionally. I don't know, what things like that, right? So... Now that you see what happened as soon as I got out of my apartment, now what I'm going to show you is 
The reason why I did that now, there'll be more people prepped because you know I'm going to be leaving. So the streets are going to be fuller now than they would have been if I would have came out right away, didn't go back in and do this, whatever. How long has it been? Five minutes? So now what you'll notice is the street's going to be even busier, right? So let's lock the door and see what's going on out there, boys and girls, right? Let's see. So... I don't know. We have to make our videos interesting today. What should we title them? Uh, what should we... I don't know. You guys give me ideas when I put this up there for comments. But sometimes, I, most of the time, I never really title my videos before I leave. I only did that once or twice. What I usually do is I film them and then I realize that I caught something uh, different that day. And then I come up with a title like that for the uh, playlist. It's usually mostly playlists I do because I film for a long time and uh, you can't really on the phone I think it's every 30 minutes sometimes it just stop you have to re-record and I call them part one two three four five so most of what I got up there are put in playlists you know you can check out the playlist and I have at least five six videos some go up to 20 and they're usually all recorded at one one shot one setting so it's over the course of four, five, six hours or whatever. Or they st I stop for a bit and then I re-record. But most of the playlists that you see up there are videos shot in one day. Not more than one day. I don't think I have even one that's shot in two days and in one playlist. You know, maybe a couple like that that have gathered videos from other websites. But overall, no. You know, there's certain videos that are shot in one day, a series. Now that we got that out of the way, um, I'm not promoting Doritos, but I have a bit of that. I'm going to eat it with my uh, favorite drink, uh, Pepsi. Yeah. It's funny, I'm a Pepsi kind of guy, you know. Most people say it's the same thing. There's no difference. There is a little bit in taste and flavor and everything. It's the same company. You guys know that. It's like Republicans and Democrat. I guess Republicans would be Coke and because they do a lot of cocaine too. And the Democrats would be Pepsi, because it's blue. But not really, Democrats are known to do more coke than uh, Republicans. But if you guys look at the, their logo, their emblem, the uh, Republicans and Democrats. Hello, how are you? Hello, hello, you speak English? Do you speak English? Do you live here in this building? No, like, do you reside or you visit somebody here? Just visit. Just, visit. Just wanted to know, because I make videos, I tell my audience that in this building, it's like a hotel. There's always new people coming in and out. You know how many people live in this building? There's supposed to be 170, only half. Half of the building's empty. So, because I see a lot of people always here in front, and I make movies, uh, documentaries, and, uh, sorry, I'm not pointing it at you. And I tell my audience that, it's extra busy. People come from different areas. They park their cars on the side streets or in parking lots, and they walk on the street back and forth. Oh, wow. It was good talking to you. Have a nice day. Yeah. So, guys, uh, what I do is we got an ambulance here. There we go. I tell you, you have to be ready. By the way, I'm not like that. I used to be like that when I was young. Look at the movement. They have to move right away as soon as I come out. Look at the picture. So, guys, physically, I prefer a certain type of women. Now, I don't look at women that way. But I told you, these guys have been on me for a long time. They've studied my likes, my dislikes, my behavior. As you notice in my videos, most of the women that are the closest to me, they're usually pudgy, you know, and very thick. Not very, very, but usually curvy and usually with big butts. Not necessarily big breasts, but sometimes they're like that. But most women around me are not skinny. They're curvy and they're, you know, beefed up. Most of them are white or Hispanic, but more to the lighter color. You see in my videos, it's mostly brunettes. You don't see that many blondes. So what you saw out there, this woman that I was talking to, usually shorter, not that tall but along the same lines and skinnier, not bigger. <clears throat> now, do you know why? 
I've had, uh, I've been in uh, three relationships, actually more, but three relationships in terms of look how fast they're walking, see the style, the way they do it. They're just looking at a watch, they're moving, you know, a watch, whatever, and he waits for them. They do the charade when they get around me. Now, um, I've been in three relationships in terms of long time. One is seven months, eight months, nine months, around there. No, one of them was actually a year and a half. One was uh, six months and one was eight months. Now, I've been in others too that were two months here, three months there. Uh, in terms of the women I've been with here and there, quick week, whatever, or the day total to about, I don't know, 300, 400. I don't like to talk about this, but there's a specific reason why I'm mentioning these things. Now, my type of woman is that, what I mentioned to you earlier. I'm very picky. I used to be at least when I was young and mostly it was physical. And there, there are reasons for that. I'll tell you later. And I don't think I've ever been into a, a serious relationship, even though one of those relationships that I mentioned to you earlier, the one for a year and a half, I was actually married to her in by papers, like through paperwork, nothing more. We never really, you know, we just had to do it because it was the only way for her to get out of her country and come into mine. So we can, you know, live together. Watch, he was way closer to me. You know, they're moving away now. They learn, they still come. You look at the shoes too, they make this sound. All right, not all of them, eh? big trucks. Here we go, we start. It's lunchtime on a Thursday, you know, it's like 2.30 now. This madness, look at it. Car switching from right lane to left lane. Anyways, now, They know exactly my type and they always throw it in front of me. It's not easy to find that type. And believe me, I see it every day I come out. When I go downtown, it's mind boggling to the amount that will show up like that. I'm pretty sure so far they've searched the whole city for women like that and brought them over to this area, the Truman area. The Truman Show area, neighborhood. He's just sitting there, he has got nothing to do, but I figured, you know what, let's stick it in his face. Look how he's moving, his hands and everything in his head, he's looking around, he's gonna keep moving. They don't stay still, subtle. Listen to the plane. That's a bird, buddy. You hear it, but I don't know where it is. Hold on, let me see, it's really low, this one. They should not be flying at this altitude around. Look, look, look at it, look where it is. Hold on, they should not be flying at this altitude. Look at that guy, how he honked, look how fast he's going. Look how fast.